It's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rupps. And we're combining some ideas here to solve some problems. Right. So we have this yummy cake here that has yeah, had a, cake. A, a slice removed from it. And the Chocolate cake is cake. 10 <laughs> inches high, has a radius of 3 inches. What's the volume of the remaining cake? And we know 75 degrees have been removed oh. from it. All right. So we have to consider how to find the volume of it. Okay. So volume we know is going to be. And we've been saying this over and over and over again. Area of the base times the height. Right. Now the height is easy. That's 10. We're told that. Yeah. The tricky part is the area of the base this time. Right. So we just need to find the woo. <laughs> part right here. <laughs> we just All, All right. right. The Pac-Man piece. All right. So how to find that? Well, we learned the other, like early on in this unit, that to find the sector area of a sector, which is what that is, oh, yeah. is area over the whole circle, which was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is area of the whole circle? Right, or we could go area of the base, so we okay. can call that A, because we call that A, so to shorten it up. Is that okay? Yeah, so okay. area of... The, area of that sector. Of the sector over yep. pi R times radius squared. Our radius is 3, so mm -hmm. times 2. Equals. equals. Well, and we have to know what this is, all right? All right. We're missing 75. So 360 minus 75 is 285. Is that right? Is that 285 or 275? Oh, I don't know. I, it's too late in the day to figure that out for sure. Those dashly tens places always mess me up. 285. Okay. So I know I have 285 degrees left, which corresponds to the area I'm looking for. Over a total of? 360, the whole circle. All right. So we can just find this quick by using our calculator. All so right. we have 285 times? 9 pi. And I can just go ahead and divide it by 360. Sweet. And I get... Let's keep lots of decimal places. 2.383. 384, sorry. 384. That's the area of our base. Right. So 2.384. And then we multiply it by the height. Right. Times 10. That's yeah. easy. Put that, it one place over. Right. So I go... So the volume is 223 inches. 224? Oh, we have to move the decimal place. Or two, oh, right, you're right. I'm sorry, 224. Centimeter, or inches. Inches cubed. cubed. Great. Go to the next one. Next one. The figure to the right is a hemisphere on top of a cylinder. We this all know that by now that a hemisphere is? Half a circle, half, half a sphere. A sphere. Oh, not circle, a sphere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the surface area to the right is 175 pi centimeters squared. All right. I'm going to write that down. So the whole surface area is that value. The base area is 25. We want to find the height of the cylinder. All right. Well, let's talk about what the surface area, how would we find that? We have a hemisphere mm -hmm. plus... We have the base of the, the base circle. Kind of a circle. Oh, plus the ear and do like this. Plus base. The base of the circle. And then we have like the curvy part. Uh, of the cylinder. Of the cylinder. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's just go ahead and, okay. and talk about this. <laughs> hemisphere. hemisphere. We know that it's surface area, so it's half of our 4 pi r squared. We all have that memorized from the oranges. All right. Um, the base, well, that's this right here. We can say pi r squared. Right. If we just keep with the formulas. And remember now with the cylinder, we're only taking of the, the curvy part. Right, the curvy part. <laughs> and we know from a regular cylinder, the area would be of the curvy part. It's 2, two pi, pi r h. h. Okay. okay, so, and we know the whole surface area is 175. Let's start substituting pi. in. Yeah. 175 pi equals 2 pi r squared. Do we know what r is? Ah, uh, yes. 
are. Well, we, we know. We're gonna find that out. Though. Let's. We can find that out. Twenty-five pi is the base area. And we know that this is a circle, so area is pi r squared. And if it's twenty-five pi, I can recognize without even calculating that r is five. Five. That's easy. Okay. So, so we can say two times pi. twenty-five times pi. And then we have the area of the base, which we don't even have to use this formula because we know it's 25 pi. Right. Plus T, T pi times 5 times H. H. All right. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff and simplify it out. So we get 50 pi plus 25 pi plus 10 mm. pi H. Okay. Yep. 175 pi. So now it's just algebra. All the geometry yeah. part's done, right? So I get 75 pi. Plus, plus 10 pi h. Okay, minus 75 pi from both sides. All right, so I get left a, with 100 pi. All this pi is making me get hungry. Uh, cake. Cake. <laughs> I like cake better than pi. <laughs> okay, divide by 10 pi, and we get 10. Pi's cancel. 10 is the... The height. Oh, that was so easy, but it is in centimeters. centimeters. That's it. That's it. Great.